Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is a conversation between two great personalities. I'm kidding. This is Misael Leon. He's a UX researcher and designer. Whatever you think about how a user interacts with a new product or an old product, Misael is interested in that. And he helps us prototype everything from day one so you don't have to spend one single dollar before knowing if users actually like or need what uh, they're going to use. So we're going to have an interesting talk, but I'm going to let him introduce me now. Right, that's one of a hell of a presentation, Jorge, so thank you. So he's Jorge Simons, and he's our content creator, part of the marketing team here at Nearsoft. And he's in charge of telling the stories that we live every day. So in a way that we can talk about what we do here at Nearsoft, and you guys get to know what we do here. And uh, we used to call him the wizard storyteller, because he's, um, he's all about stories, and you will see what he's about. I think, uh, we have different terms for things that are the same. For example, I would call someone my customer, and I think you would call him a user, a user. or her a user. So the way I make the difference there is the customer becomes a user once they start interacting with a digital product across the journey map of, of the customer. So I want to start calling that person a user just because he's utilizing a di digital product. But in the end, I think it's the same. I mean, it's the same people that comes to our organization, to our company, trying to get something done. Right. Uh, I, what I think, it's a, it's a matter of timing. Like a customer happens before a user happens, because a right. customer is someone you need to go and grab him or her uh, from whatever he or she is doing, like in the internet or talking to someone, and then you need to st stick an ad on in his or her face. So uh, I think the relationship can go, like it can be UX first and marketing then UX or the other way around. For example, you can have a user uh, with whom you are exploring what is gonna, <coughs> what a product is gonna be. And then you set uh, them free and then I can go and catch other customers. So it, I don't think it's a matter of what, what is first or what is more relevant. It's just different steps in the process of consuming a product in a way. Right, at the end, I think we should not talk about uh, strategies living on their own. I mean, I cannot talk about the UX strategy uh, per se, and marketing strategy should not live uh, isolated from what I'm trying to achieve with the product that I'm trying to build. Um, in the end, it's the same thing. It's just, I'm starting to, to believe that it's a matter of semantics. We're talking slightly about the same topics, mm -hmm. but with different names. I think the, the other thing that can be very different and similar at the same time is market research versus u user research. For my side of things, I think uh, I can tell you sort of who you can sell something to, like uh, what part of the population might be interested in some product, maybe women, men, teenagers, right. and age group. But when it comes to u uh, user research or UX research, you're actually talk, talking about something more specific. Like, right. I would call marketing something general and UX something much more specific. I don't know how you see that. Um, I, think, I think you're right. I mean, we do obviously some kind of research, but we don't call it market research because we are not trying to understand the trend of the market like uh, as a whole. Mm -hmm. Rather, we are, we are trying to understand is how our product is going to fit into everybody's life in very particular moments. That is, what I'm trying to understand from users, from your customers, mm -hmm. is how they're gonna use the product, in which context. Um, is it gonna be used at home while, while people are walking? Or perhaps they're gonna use it uh, sitting in front of the computer eight hours um, in, in, a, in an office, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm not trying to understand the market itself. What I'm trying to understand is um, the behavior and the habits of people of, that are part of that market that you are trying to understand. What we are trying to understand is how a product can fit into people's life and in the market. There's also something uh, about market research that is not based on the customer per se. And, and this comes up in one of the UX interviews you, you did uh, not a while ago. That's a, an advert for you people. You can go to uh, newsofcom slash blog to read about the UX interviews we conduct. And you asked the one designer if voice command was going to actually be a trend in the future if, if something was going to happen with it. And his answer was something like, we have the technology, we don't have the interests of the companies. 
So right. when we talk about marketing trends, we can even talk not only about customers, but who is going to provide you with a, a part of that technology that you need, maybe a chip, maybe a line of code, whatever you need. It's also part of a, a, a marketing research, study, or you do something about voice command, but maybe their phones are obsolete and 50% of the people don't have a phone that can actually support that or don't see that in their daily lives as something useful. And I think we see that with products like Google Glasses or this whole PR thing Samsung is doing right now with their cell phones. It's like, yeah, it's cool to like have a, a different ambience or a different, uh, environment to like test my things like uh maybe i'm seeing a card from someone i haven't met so i can go and approach him if i need to or something like that but maybe that's not something that is going to happen in the real world and you see this is when marketing can complement ux like i can tell you maybe the provider is not ready to like sell you some parts of uh, the thing you're going to build and then you can tell me this is not something users are going to really use in their daily life so it's about informing each other's process. And I think that's really at the heart of it. it there, there are disciplines that are really tied up together, I think. Right. Um, actually, it's kind of interesting what you're mentioning about the voice command thing. Because we all think, well, we might think that it's a cool thing, it's a cool feature to have. If I can tell my phone, hey, phone, what are you? Uh, <laughs> do I have any meetings today? Um, what's my email look like today? And that will be something really cool to have. Uh, I wonder though how it's gonna fit that into people's lives. But more important, I wonder is the market ready for that? I think it's not gonna happen until major companies like Apple or Google try to really push it hard. Mm -hmm. I think they're doing it, but um, it's not gonna happen until they decide it's time to. But but the line is really blurry because fr from one side, like marketing can tell you, you know what, this is not part of the core marketing strategy for right. someone on Apple or Microsoft or something like that. But then maybe your research uh, uh, can, can tell us, you know what, people are 100% ready to like talk to their phone as if right. it was a person. So this, this gets us to a whole new level of planning. Like someone who's on the business side can, can make an informed decision about what each side of things is telling them. And, and we're not even talking about development and design and stuff like that. But this, I know, is part of the motif of UX, which is like right. involve the whole team, make 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 all the right decisions with all the right information. And this is another one of those parts where I think both go hand in hand. Like you need to inform the decision makers or the stakeholders right. or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, um, I think I think what I can say uh, for this point is um, UX. As a UX researcher, we can tell you marketing team. We can tell you that people are starting to use a product in different ways that you didn't expect, or it's not the way that you are selling it. Mm -hmm. Because we have this direct conversation with users and we can find out if they are using it in different ways than expected. We call this creative uses. When you put out a product in the market oh. and then people start using it in different ways, mm -hmm. you, will, you will have no idea that's going on. Mm -hmm. That you, have, you will not have a... Um, a clear understanding of why yeah, that maybe, is. Maybe maybe we advertise it as a castle, for example, right. for but kids. But people are using it in different, in different ways. Way. Mm -hmm. So I can inform you how to sell it. But on right. the other way, you can you can as well inform the decisions that I'm doing with the product. I think that's um, really interesting. This conversation between marketing and UX. I would like to invite you guys to visit ux.nearsoft.com to see what we are doing at UX. And there's a whole bunch of stories at newsofcom slash blog and newsofcom slash about us and all sorts of things we're trying to do to make uh, people connect with us. So if you don't like the story or you like it or you fall in love with us, please send us an email. Just visit us and tell us what you think about what we're doing. Thank you. Thank you.